About four years ago, I was involved in a um, motor vehicle accident. I was T-boned, um, hit me right on my left shoulder, did a lot of damage on my body, especially my back. I was in severe pain. Right after the accident, now for four years, um, I've gone through multiple surgeries to try and correct the pain, also physical therapy. We tried in the beginning didn't work out. Because I couldn't bend over or sit for too long, I was constantly having to get up and walk out of class and walk around. I mean, literally, I would just be in so much pain to where I would just be crying in class. I mean, it was just such bad pain. Um, I couldn't do any of the normal things that I used to do. I mean, I used to be very active. I used to play sports. I used to constantly be at the gym working out. I mean, I couldn't do any of these things. I have three little nephews that I used to love to pick up and play with and go to the park with. I literally couldn't bend over, could not play with them. I would constantly be having to lie down in bed just because of the pain. I mean, it was horrible. My life went from being a normal, active teenage girl or young adult to having to be constantly lying in bed or with an ice pack or heating pack or some kind of pain medication. And I, I didn't like taking pain medication at all and it, I felt like I was a completely different person than I used to be because of this pain. I was very hesitant to get the lumbar fusion. I was very nervous. I mean, I'm, I was young. I mean, I had a lot of questions about it. I mean, about my mobility, about what I'd be able to do for the rest of my life with this surgery. I was very hesitant. Um, but finally, in the end, the pain was just so bad, we decided to do it. I mean, I couldn't even sit in class anymore. I mean, I was missing so much school and work. I, mean, I ha literally had to take months off work because I couldn't do it. I mean, I couldn't sit down for too long. I couldn't stand up for too long. It was just excruciating pain. Down my leg and my back, it was horrible. So I was very, very scared going into it, being as young as I was, losing mobility or losing any quality of my life. Going into the surgery, I had a lot of questions coming into the office, talking to Duke, which he eased all of those. I mean, I literally had a list of questions I wanted to ask him about it and how nervous I was and every little detail. And he went over everything with me, answered all my questions, was very nice about it. Didn't laugh at me with my silly questions or anything like that. So I was very comfortable after speaking with him and made the decision with my family to go through with it after he answered my questions. and got a lot of feedback from him and he put my mind at ease, definitely. The Duke staff, the Duke Spine Institute was always so nice to me. I mean, I would walk in the door and they would know my name just because um, all I've been through with them. They would remember me, they'd ask how I was, they'd always see how my pain was, how I was doing, how I was feeling. Um, they were always so kind and generous to me, so they're, they're very nice staff. About a week. After my surgery, I was able to drive again. I was going to therapy. Um, I, could, I noticed I could move around a lot more than I could before the surgery, just because before the surgery, I was very limited in my motion. My back was in severe pain, and constantly I couldn't move left or right, and I could tell right away um, the week after that my motion was coming back. I could drive. I was going to physical therapy. I could tell I can sit for longer periods of time than I could ever before the surgery. Um, just, I felt better. I had a better perspective overall. I mean, when you're in severe, constant pain all the time, it just, it makes you so depressed. It means you're constantly just upset. And I could tell just my attitude was completely different after the surgery. I was a lot more happy because I could tell my pain was gone. If I had to go through it all again, I would definitely choose Duke. I mean, through the whole thing, everything I've gone through, he's always been there, he answered all my questions, and he's just been a real friend to me, very nice. Um, I respect him a lot and what he does and I mean I literally put my life in his hands when he did my back surgery and I, I had to trust him a lot for someone to, someone to do that and I did. I trusted him.